or sorry, about customer relationships. This is something that sits between value propositions and customer segments. If you haven't figured those out, you need to, but we're gonna talk about how to communicate to your customers the value proposition that you have come up, up with for them. That is what this is all about. This is how to communicate with your customers, okay? First thing I wanna do is I wanna, oops, it's gotta go the other way. Uh, I wanna talk to you about the eight social media sites, that are the eight big ones. There are over, I think somebody told me the other day that they've counted now 400 social media and almost 1,500 that are not social media but are um, directories, like a directory assistance. We're gonna only talk about the top eight social media sites. Now, let's go to it. Who do you think they would be? Facebook, <laughs> yeah, I would imagine so. Okay, first off, I, I forgot, I gotta tell you one thing first. What is social media? Everybody know what social media is? Anybody who doesn't? Okay, let's see here. This is, according to Wikipedia, and we can always trust this, right? <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely uh, accurate. But I like this, uh, this particular definition of it. Social media is computer-mediated tools that allows you to share posts, uh, information, exchanges. You can uh, get your pictures and videos out to people. It's, oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm walking I'm your way, so. Okay, I, I'm not as thin as I used to be. Yeah. Uh, but it's all about sharing with others, and it's connecting with others. Guess what, that's what businesses need to do. They're connecting with their customer, and that's what social media can do for you, okay? <laughs> now, what is social media marketing then? It's about getting your information out to them to tell your story, and then gain traffic back to your website or to your other social media sites. That's what we, uh, what this is all about. Now, not all sites are for everybody. Sites will be used determined by the type of company. I know of a company who their best site for getting uh, more people to come to their site is LinkedIn because they're a business to business type business and that's all they do is they don't even work with consumers at all. On the other hand, they uh, are all about, there's uh, other companies that are all about uh, getting to the consumers. And so Facebook or Google Plus and others, we're gonna talk about that so you can determine what are the best sites for your particular business, okay? So who are the big eight players? Now these are not in any particular order, although Facebook is first, because it is the big one. Okay, we're gonna go through some of these. YouTube, that's a big one. Some people say, oh, I hadn't even thought of YouTube as a social media. It's number two. Now I gotta tell you one thing, I was telling a person today, Facebook is twice as many people going to it, twice as many shares, twice as much as everything as its second highest social media site. <coughs> twice as big, okay? But there's others out there too. There's LinkedIn, here's Twitter. Uh, anybody use Twitter? Okay, I do too. Uh, there's uh, a lot of others that are out there. We're gonna talk about each one of these, okay? These are the big eight. And you'll be surprised by how each of these can be used. At least that's, I'm hoping to surprise you. Maybe you know better than some people do. First off, I gotta tell you something I hate to hear. I came out of the newspaper industry uh, and I used to hear people say, oh, I need to stop advertising for a while. I'm gonna try social media. Ah, it's free. And I, you know, I think I can do a lot with it. Here's the problem with that. 80% of all people who try social media fail within 60 days. It doesn't bring me an ROA. It doesn't help me get my things going. Uh, I don't, it's too much work. I need to hire somebody. All of these are excuses, okay? These are something you need to understand going into social media. It's not 
free and you do it once and you just leave it alone and it doesn't and it just continues on it won't social media should take about an hour a day a day to successfully implement it. there are some businesses that use more and there's a few businesses that can use less but let me give you a clue you must plan to in order for this to work and we'll talk about that as we go forward and I'll tell you some of the plans okay first off there are three different types of Facebook sites that you can go to they now some of these are my personal sites so you're gonna have to put up with some of this this is my personal site and here is uh, you know that I got this uh, from uh, a friend of mine uh, Lamont Starr who some of you know from here okay he posted this and uh, then, uh, I don't know, anybody know Brad Barton? Some people do, most don't. Brad's out of Ogden and uh, is very, very good at uh, business coaching as well. But he uh, posted this and I reposted it and sent it on to other people. But this is what a personal site looks like. Okay, you, you get to see the, the posts from different people and you can scroll up and see things. Okay. And some of the other things you can do is you, you'll see some uh, things that are going on. Now, in this particular case, we're seeing some trends. We can see some sites that I've been to recently. You can also, there's ads in here. These are ads that you can partake, in, uh, partake of too, but there is a cost. Just understand and you'll be in good shape, okay? Now, this is the personal site. If you're trying to do uh, business to consumer, this is where you want to show up. Okay. Now let's talk, talk about a business site. The business site is a little different. It does have a lot of things. Now it's got um, some posts to a page. This is my BP Media page. Okay, so this has people have posted to my page. This is Sterling, who's usually here. No one remembers him, right? <laughs> He's the most well-known person in uh, ELP, I think. So, the other thing you're going to get here is I've done some posts. Here's some uh, reposts. This is my post, and you'll notice that I did this from my BP Media account, and I created the post there. Then I forward it or share it from my personal post. Okay. So these are things you can do. Now, this is another one. This is someone else. Why hackers are kicking your butt? the five steps to keep them from accessing your website okay now this was a great post by someone else and I reposted it on my BP media site because as I repost it helps him but it also shows that I care about my customers you need to be mindful of that post things that maybe doesn't even pertain to you you know hackers what does that have to do with BP media I'm not selling it. You're, what this is all about is it is providing an additional service. It helps people want to come to my site to see other things that I am doing. Okay? The third site is a group site that I'm going to tell you about. A group site is where you, the people have gotten together and they say, hey, we're going to uh, talk about chambers or we're going to talk about, let's see, which one's this? This is Entrepreneur Launchpad's group site. So that's here's site. Okay. What do we have here? Well, you know, here they've reposted one of my sayings that I had on my site, and they've just reposted it to everybody to see. Okay. Here's another one that's a repost as well of 10 business mistakes for startups to avoid. Groups are all about similar-minded people getting together. One of the most powerful things you can do with a group is if you have somebody you want to get to know. Let's say you want to get to know Chris. And Chris is so hard to get to know, right? But if he frequents this site and posts on this site and posts some information over here from time to time, then you know that you can go to this site to see what is of interest to him. Finding groups that people are interested in is a very good thing to do with Facebook and LinkedIn. You go to there, if you want to find out more about uh, a 
about anybody. Here it's got, I've got Ricky and Ryan and Ryan. If you want to know about any of them, you go to their personal site and it shows you what groups they belong to. And then to get to know them better, go to the groups and be legitimately interested in it and you'll get to know them. They'll get to know you as both of you post and both of you respond. Okay? This is very important for businesses. Okay? I work with a company who is a the next generation of uh, credit card processing company. They, uh, Apple Pay was supposed to be what this was and Apple Pay didn't do exactly what they thought they were going to be able to do. The next generation beyond that is who I work with. And I was trying to help them get in front of the person from uh, Google Wallet. Anybody ever heard of Google Wallet? Just a little company. Well, I went to the Google Wallet uh, head person's uh, personal site and found out that he belonged to three groups in LinkedIn and two groups in Facebook. So I went and checked it out. Now you don't have to always belong. You can go check it out. I found that one of those groups on, on LinkedIn, he was on all the time and he was chatting with people, he was posting questions, he was uh, giving answers, he was giving views. I knew that was the group I needed to be in. Once I had, I got onto the group, I started looking at what the whole discussion was about. Now you don't go in and you start throwing out stupid answers or stupid questions, but one of the questions that I posed was, what would the next credit card processing companies look like? I got lots of answers, including one from the guy from Google Wallet. And it's interesting, the guy from Google Wallet was giving me exactly, uh, he, you could almost look at the list of things we had, and he was giving that list of what he wanted from the next product he wanted to be able to work with. So I got on there and I, as I'm discussing it, I says, you know, this is very much like Access 4.1. You ought to take a look at their site. And they have another one called ApplePayAlternative.com you ought to look at too. Guess who got connected? This is what social media can do for businesses. And it doesn't have to just be a business to business. It can be, there's all kinds of forums that are all about business to consumers. We'll talk about some more of those in a little bit. Here's the next one, YouTube. A lot of people don't take YouTube as serious as they should. Having videos, and we're, we're posting a video here right now. When we work with video, we can actually create a, uh, a moving picture program that's going to explain things. This is why YouTube is as big as it is. It's all about teaching and training in video. We all love moving pictures. You know, static pictures are better than just words, but moving pictures is even better. Now this, anybody recognize who this is up on the screen? Is that Cardone? Sorry? Is that Grant Cardone? No, it's uh, Nathan uh, Fillon. He is an actor on a couple of shows. One of his uh, series is Castle, currently, okay? And, uh, but he was also known uh, for his uh, starring in a, a short-lived series that became a movie called Firefly. And he is a big attraction for Comic-Con, anywhere he goes. Because of Firefly, who hasn't even been around for how long? Yeah, 10 years now, okay? But when he got on stage, this stage had 850 people in there and they turned people away because they wanted to see him. Do you know, now notice how many views he's had. This is just the Salt Lake one. He's had 6,000 views of his uh, on stage monologue. This is big for anybody who wants to know more about somebody like him. But it's also a great way to get your information out. Create some videos. 
be able to show them off and then get people to connect to them. Okay? There's more to YouTube for businesses as we get going along. And if you have more questions, you can ask me about it. But this is, don't discount YouTube because it seems like it's a consumer channel because it's much bigger than that. Yes? Um, I was uh, I was watching this, this small report on on YouTube and I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Shea Tarts. Yep. Um, he, he decided in his 20s that he was going to start posting his family's activities. Yeah. He wanted to record his, his 20s and uh, uh, I guess just recently he sold his YouTube channel for 500 million to Disney. Now, one thing about him, he moved from Logan, was it, or somewhere like uh, that? Yeah. To Idaho onto a 20 acre farm. And it was all the hilarious things that go along with teaching kids to work on a farm. And it was yeah. funny. Very funny. Every one of them. And every day. Million, million of views. Every day. He had just over one million people going to find that site. They wanted to see what he was doing. He posted anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes every day. But on the, the, uh, the ads that he had on it, he had an ad here, he had an ad down here somewhere. And in this area, he was making in excess of $5 million a year showing what stupid things your kids do. But he's been building this for five years, six years, something like that. And now he sold it to Disney for half a billion dollars. It's a nice farm. Yeah, it's a really good farm. He can buy a bigger one now. Maybe he'll go to a ranch. Actually, yeah, they moved to California. Are they? Sold it up, and then they moved back to it. Is that what they did? Yeah. Okay. So, YouTube can be really big for businesses, and you can build a whole business around YouTube. Let's look at the next one. LinkedIn is the next one. LinkedIn is uh, very much a, uh, a site for business people to show up. Don't go in there and try to, uh, to be a consumer type uh, salesperson. So what? I was just waving at Oh, 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 who's that? Uh, that's a little bit out <laughs> It's only three weeks old. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> All right. This is uh, one of the pages. This is, um, let's see, yeah, let me look here. It's easier for me to see it there. Oh, this is one of my business pages. So, so this is just a general page that you can look through. And this is what I would be seeing as I go through and see people that I am connected to and all of their posts. Okay. The second type is this one. This is um, a little more uh, for my business, and again, it can be sent over to be shared from my personal account. Now, interesting enough, my business on here only has about 100 likes. Now, it's only been up for four or five months, and I haven't really pushed it on LinkedIn. My personal side has a little over 2,200 people who follow me. And so by me creating something here, then posting it over uh, or sharing it on my personal side helps build my business side of things by having it over pushed over here. Now, I post a lot of other people's things over as well. I'll move uh, or I'll share uh, things from uh, from Chris, from uh, I, there's a few different people I work with, but the key here is again share the posts that are most important to you, and it shows. Well, well here it doesn't show as much what uh, I am interested in. It when I share something from here, it does, and people are interested even in business people having a real life and they like to know what kind of things you're interested in, right? Okay, next one is Instagram. A lot of people have discounted this one, but let me tell you, Instagram is big. And it's not just for kids. There are some things, some limitations to it. 
but I want to tell you about one of my favorite posts. Now, you guys won't recognize who this is, and I'll tell you in a minute, but this lady, what she did was she has been lobbying to McDonald's for years to go from the plastic cups to paper cups again. Now she likes the taste of the drink in the in the plastic cups, but it takes 20 years for those cups to break down. It only takes five months for them to break down when they're paper cups. And if you leave the soda in them, it takes about five days. <laughs> this is D. Wright. Anybody ever heard of Doug Wright? This is his wife. And she had a picture different doing different things but the cups come in four different colors and so she had all four different colored cups that she was doing different things with as she got them and she posted that she was delighted that they had gone to this Instagram is it can be all about just simply a, a photo or you can add more to it now here she's talking about I love the new McDonald's cups. Thank you for doing such a great job at to, you know, listening to what the customers want. Okay, so this is something that can be done. But let me tell you, there's a lot of other ways of using Instagram. I was at a conference one time. It was over in Denver. And it was for the newspaper industry, and they had everybody go to their Insta or they had them create, in most cases, an Instagram account. Then they said. Always post it with the hashtag. Everybody know what hashtag is? Who doesn't? Come on, you can. Okay, good. Everybody knows. We use the hashtag. We use the hashtag. Now here's a couple of hashtags here. They use the hashtag of AFCPCONF, so conference. But if you did that, they had software that would grab every picture that had that attached to it, and then it, they made a slideshow. I would post something and two minutes later it's on the display screen. That was how fast it could be used. And instead of hiring a photographer to, uh, to document it, they just simply let everybody document it. And instead of having about 450 pictures at the end of the uh, conference, they had four or five thousand pictures to choose from to show off what the conference was all about but it engaged everyone. Everyone was interested in getting the prizes for the big things that they were uh, giving away. And some of them did very, very well. But you can do this for your own business. I have seen businesses who have taken and said, dress up over Halloween, dress up in your favorite scariest outfit, and we'll post them on our website or we'll post them on our Facebook page. We'll post them somewhere so that people, I get to be on Chick-fil-A's and when I dress up as a cow or a chicken if you want. So this is a lot of fun. Okay. Now a couple other things. Oops, let's get that. A couple other uh, social media sites I want to tell you about. This is Google Plus. Now, I don't know if any of you recognize who that really is. Uh, you might. Um, she is a council person at uh, Salt Lake County Council. And she's fairly new. But she posts every Tuesday night after the council meeting a post of what's going on. Now, in this particular case, she, all, she was talking about transparencies and spending. But she also was about to change her picture. And so I grabbed her picture and put it up here. Any of you ever heard of Mike Winder? Was in the news a little bit for uh, you know some things that he did or didn't do. And, uh, but Mike Winder was the mayor of uh, West Valley City for four years. This is his sister, and yes, they're part of the Winder Dairy family. Okay, so but I chose this also for this picture here. Here is a great way of finding out about social media. Rebecca is somebody that I follow and I get all kinds of information about how to do better and this particular article that she did with a couple of other people is very very good so if you want more information I'll give you Rebecca's uh, 
Facebook or uh, actually I'll give you her uh, web address and you can go and grab that. Okay, so this this can be uh, you can have as big or as small of a, a um, post as you want, and that's one of the cool things about using Google Plus. Now I got to tell you something that's very important to know. When you're using Facebook, and some of the other social media sites do this as well, you have to have people interacting with you or else they're not going to get every message you post. For example, if I post something on my site, if Chris or Rob has liked one of the last five posts that I've made, they're going to get every single post that I do until I get to number six that they haven't liked. When you get to number six, then they only share one out of every two with you of what I post. When I get to 12 that they haven't said I like this, then only 7% of the people that I am connected to are going to see 7% of the, the rest of the people who are liking me all the time, 7% will get to see my post. That means that you're not getting to everybody who likes you. Did you know that? Most people don't. Google, you get everybody. So if you post something, it's in real time and it's from the newest post down. So in this particular case, this one, I had scrolled down a ways, and this was a yesterday post, but so was all of this uh, yesterday posts. So you be, understand that you're not getting to everybody, even though you may have lots of likes. In fact, if you notice on some of your posts, I was looking at one yesterday, and it said it was posted out, and there's 400 people who are in this uh, group that like this website. Then all of a sudden, I'm looking at it and it says I got to 68 people is all that it got to. You know, that's actually pretty high. Because there were some of them that were 15 that actually saw my post. Okay. Now, on some of those others, you can buy longer uh, to go to everybody that you have as friends. Okay. And then there's some that you have to, you can buy to go to their friends and family. So you can go to thousands of people there. The next one I'm going to talk about is Twitter. Twitter, in the newspaper industry, I used to call this the headline news. It's 140 characters, nothing more. You can put a, a picture with it, and just recently you could now put a 10 second video. Okay, so this is kind of cool, but uh, and having them add the pictures was a really great idea. Before it was just this, and if you had a great big long thing you wanted to say, you could post it on Facebook or LinkedIn, and it would divide it into five or six different posts if you pushed it that way. Okay, now, well, understand you have 140 characters to work with to give your message short and sweet and there's all kinds of people who have used this to really benefit their business and uh, I've got a great example in a white paper that I put together and I'll let you read that there about a restaurant or a sandwich shop in, in South Carolina Raleigh South Carolina no oh, it's yeah, it's North Carolina so it wasn't it's um, Myrtle Beach sorry South Carolina um, let me tell you a couple of other things here so here you've got a small picture that you can use. Here's another one of a picture. This is Salt Lake City Weekly that's posted this one. And you'll notice these codes right here. These are called short codes. You'll also notice the hashtags that they're using. And a lot of different hashtags are being used in bands. There's a short code as well. What these do is it lets people know what is in this. And then up in this, you can see what is trending. On Sunday, if you were uh, watching Twitter or Facebook uh, or even Google, 
and looked at the trending site, you'll, you would have noticed that the LDS Church in, uh, General Conference was the number one trending thing for about an hour before and an hour after every one of the conferences. But after that, other world events took over. But you'll notice here, this particular day, there's all kinds of things. An insurance bill. Can you imagine that that would be trending? But it was. There was enough people who were talking about it. Here, Ben is talking about the Utah legislature and Utah policies. And uh, he uh, uses hashtags and short codes all the time. In fact, Ben Winslow, who works for uh, Channel 13 News, is considered the most savvy social media uh, journalist in the country. Beats out everybody else because he knows how to use it and he has a lot of followers. And I think the last time I checked he had about 200,000 followers. For a journalist, that is astounding. You have to get to Ashton Kutcher at 2.5 million to, you know, to get something like that. But you, you know, you get to the picture. What was his name again? Which one? Oh, Ben Winslow? Ben Winslow. Ben Winslow. Okay. Let's look at Pinterest. There's a, a few interesting things about Pinterest. Pinterest started off just a few years ago, and it's coming up very quickly. But I'm going to tell you something that's really cool about it. If your product is something that women would be interested in, you need to know about Pinterest. Okay? And even if you don't think your business is, all, is targeted to women, you may want to still pay attention to Pinterest. 74% of all women between the age of 25 and 55 have a Pinterest account. Facebook's the only thing that's higher for having a Facebook account. Women, on average, visit here almost as much as they do Facebook. Okay. In the United States, this has become bigger than YouTube, but it is number three worldwide. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, it was half as much as LinkedIn was, which was number three. Twitter was number four, only 10,000 posts apart. Pinterest is now number three and is climbing fast. Okay? Some of the things that you find on it is it's very graphic oriented. Got to have some graphics to go in there, but it's all, almost all static. You can put videos on, but most people put static pictures. Okay? But it can be, now I was looking up something, I said, tell me about Pinterest, and this is what I got. These are all kinds of things about Pinterest. Uh, what are the, uh, you know, how to use Pinterest, uh, engagement on Pinterest keeps uh, working even when you don't. It's all, this was just an advertisement for Pinterest. Guess what? Only one of those ads on there was actually from Pinterest. Which one is it? Anybody know? Hmm? Nope, that's monomarketing.com. Just this one. That's the only one that's from Pinterest. Okay? And it was actually a, a co-post with someone else. Which she also did this one too. And so, this is a very big up-and-coming social media site. Now I'm going to tell you a quick story. I'm running out of time, but I'm okay. Uh, uh, one of my uh, friends who runs a ink uh, store, so he sells you ink and laser cartridges. He's up in Salt Lake County. I one time was in talking to him. And I says, "Why aren't you doing something on Pinterest?" And he says, "Oh, ours is a guy thing. Guys replace the cartridges. Guys buy the cartridges." And I says, no, they don't. You're an idiot. <laughs> and he said, what do you mean? I said, guess what? One of the biggest areas that people print from is on Pinterest. He 
He said, oh, why would they print anything from there? And I said, they don't print things from there. They print things that they figure out how to put together. And he says, like what? And I said, scrapbooking pages. Scrapbooking and, and craft things are huge on here. They're not the biggest. I did surprise you what the biggest is. But they are big on this. He started putting some ads on here and he his web traffic increased by 33% in four weeks by putting ads on this, okay? And that's what you can do. Now here's another uh, page that I put up here. Um, gives you a few other things that you can see. And again, it's uh, very much about Pinterest. But the key I wanted to show with this is you can have, this is one ad this is one ad. They can be different sizes sitting next to each other. This is cool because you can say as much or as little as you want and get it on here. Okay. Now there's something also called pinning, and you can pin these to your uh, to something you can come back to and read later. And guess what? I was look, talking to my sister, who is a big craft person in the scrapbooking area. She only has about four or five hundred things pinned at any given moment. And guess what one of them was? My friend who sells ink. Because she goes through a lot of ink. So, keep that in mind. Tumblr. Anybody heard of Tumblr? What is Tumblr? Microblogging. Microblogging, pictures, those are both right. They are, this is a, uh, this is from uh, Comic Con, they do big picture, then they had a small one here. This one actually had a very long blog that went with it and I should have grabbed it. Tumblr is a micro blogging site that is very visual. You can have videos, you can have static pictures. They won't promote you as much if you have a video because it's harder for them to promote you. But if you use static pictures like this, it can really build your business. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Comic-Con. Comic-Con, anybody know who they are? Salt Lake Comic-Con specifically, okay? Everybody knows who they are? Why? Why do you know? They've been on the news. They've been on the news, why? All over social media. They're all over social media. Let me tell you the story of Comic-Con. In 2013, that's just two years ago now, they started promoting a Comic-Con for Salt Lake. It's going to be in September. Okay? They did a ton of social media promotions. Didn't do anything on LinkedIn. Did a lot on Google. They did a lot on uh, Facebook. Number one site that they ended up using was Tumblr. Why? Because Tumblr helps connect people together on a microblog level. And I'll tell you about another microblogger in a minute. But let me show you, this is this year's promotions that they're talking about September. They've already started. Now these were one after another. Okay, in one day, oops, sorry, in one day, there were 22 posts from Comic-Con. Every day, they change it. They put up different things. And what do they do? They try to get you to go somewhere. Watch, pretty clever, hunt down these Pixar Easter eggs, okay? They had all kinds of things that they've done. Games, Game of uh, Thorns, Thrones, sorry. Uh, they had a, another one for it, and it went to HBO. HBO couldn't believe how many people were coming from this link. Tumblr became Comic-Con's number one social media outlet. They pay Tumblr to put stuff on, and Tumblr pay them back. Now, let me tell you what the consequences of that is. 
In 2013, they were hoping for 35,000, or no, they were, they were expecting 35,000 people to show up. They planned just in case for 50,000 people to show up. 88,000 people came. They blew the doors off of the second biggest, which used to be the biggest, convention in Utah. Last year, 2014, they were hoping for about 100,000 people. They planned for 125,000. They had 138,000. This year, they're hoping for 150,000 people and planning on 200 now because they don't know what to expect. This will put them as the second largest Comic Con after the San Diego one. They're already number three, but number two is in, uh, in uh, Germany. And they will overtake the German one because it's 140,000 people that show up for that. <clears throat> so they're expecting to surpass that this year. And they're already promoting who's going to be there. Did you see them all? All these actors that are, they're showing are going to be there. You know, in fact, one of the funny, fun things that I, get, I got to hear was Stan Lee. Everybody know who Stan Lee is? Oh, yeah. okay. You see him in every single Marvel movie, right? It's so, I mean, it's always the Easter egg you're looking for. He said, when he was at here, he says, this Comic-Con, this is just last September, this Comic-Con is the best Comic-Con I have ever been to. I have been to over 20 locations, which that's all there are, and I'm at every single one, and this one's by far the best organized, and the one I recommend more people to go to than even San Diego. I'll bet he's not very popular with the guys down in San Diego. Right? Okay, now, what do you have to do to make this work? I mentioned it right up front. In order for any social media plan to work, you have to do three things, okay? Here's what they are. See it? Plan, plan, and plan. Okay, you have to have a plan, and you have to go forward with that plan. Most companies only need to handle four social media sites. Some will use five, some will use three. Four is the average. But figure out which four are the most important and target them. Then if you find another one you want to go to, add it on after you've got your first four going. And Facebook, for any business, is a must, no matter what. Okay. Last moment. I'm over time. If you have questions, ask me after. I'll be around. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we're going to divide up into. Uh... Now, one thing about him, he moved from Logan, was it, or somewhere like uh, that? Yeah. To Idaho, onto a 20-acre farm. And it was all the hilarious things that go along with teaching kids to work on a farm. And it was funny. Yeah. Very and funny. Every one of them. And every you, day. Million, million of you. Every day, he had just over one million people going to find that site. They wanted to see what he was doing. He posted anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes. Every day. But on the... The, uh, the ads that he had on it, he had an ad here, he had an ad down here somewhere, and in this area, he was making in excess of $5 million a year. Showing what stupid things your kids do. But he's been building this for five years, six years, something like that. And now he sold it to Disney for half a billion dollars. Nice farm. Yeah, it's a really good farm. He can buy a bigger one now. 
Maybe they'll go to a ranch. Actually, yeah, they moved to California. Are they? Filled it up, and then they moved back to. I don't know, Is that what they did? Yeah. Okay. So YouTube can be really big for businesses, and you can build a whole business around YouTube. Let's look at the next one. LinkedIn is the next one. LinkedIn is uh, very much a, uh, a site for business people to show up. Don't go in there and try to, uh, to be a consumer type uh, salesperson. So what? I was just waving at her. Oh, 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 who's that? Uh, that's a little bit outdated. <laughs> It's only three weeks old. Oh, gee. <laughs> All right. This is uh, one of the pages. This is, um, let's see, yeah, let me look here. It's easier for me to see it there. Oh, this is one of my business pages. So, so this is just a general page that you can look through. And this is what I would be seeing as I go through and see people that I am connected to and all of their posts. Okay. The second type is this one. This is um, a little more uh, for my business. And again, it can be sent over to be shared from my personal account. Now, interesting enough, my business on here only has about 100 likes. Now, it's only been up for four or five months, and I haven't really pushed it on LinkedIn. My personal side has a little over 2,200 people who follow me. And so, by me creating something here, then posting it over uh, or sharing it on my personal side helps build my business side of things by having it over pushed over here. Now, I post a lot of other people's things over as well. I'll move uh, or I'll share uh, things from, uh, from Chris, from, uh, I, there's a few different people I work with but the key here is, again, share the posts that are most important to you, and it shows, well, well here, it doesn't show as much what uh, I am interested in. It, when I share something from here, it does. And people are interested, even in business people, having a real life. And they like to know what kind of things you're interested in, right? Okay, next one is Instagram. A lot of people have discounted this one, but let me tell you, Instagram is big. And it's not just for kids. There are some things, some limitations to it, uh, but I want to tell you about one of my favorite posts. Now, you guys won't recognize who this is, and I'll tell you in a minute, but this lady, what she did was, she has been lobbying to McDonald's for years to go from the plastic cups to paper cups again. Now she likes the taste of the drink in the, in the plastic cups, but it takes 20 years for those cups to break down. It only takes five months for them to break down when they're paper cups. And if you leave the soda in them, it takes about five days. <laughs> this is d right. Anybody ever heard of Doug Wright? This is his wife. And she had a picture, different, doing different things, but the cups come in four different colors. And so she had all four different colored cups that she was doing different things with as she got them. And she posted that she was delighted that they had gone to this. Instagram is, it can be all about just simply a, a photo or you can add more to it. Now here she's talking about, I love the new McDonald's cups, thank you for doing such a great job at to, you know, listening to what the customers want. Okay, so this is something that can be done. But let me tell you, there's a lot of other ways of using Instagram. I was at a conference one time, it was over in Denver, and it was for the newspaper industry. And they had everybody go to their Insta, or they had them create, in most cases, an Instagram account. Then they said, always post it with the hashtag. Everybody know what hashtag is? Who doesn't? Come on, you can, okay, good, everybody knows. We use the hashtag, she used the hashtag, now here's a couple of hashtags here. They used the hashtag of ASCPCONF, so conference. But if you did that, 
they had software that would grab every picture that had that attached to it and then it, they made a slideshow. I would post something and two minutes later it's on the display screen. That was how fast it could be used. And instead of hiring a photographer to, uh, to document it, they just simply let everybody document it. And instead of having about 450 pictures at the end of the uh, conference, they had four or 5,000 pictures to choose from to show off what the conference was all about. But it engaged everyone. Everyone was interested in getting the prizes for the big things that they were uh, giving away. And some of them did very, very well. But you can do this for your own business. I have seen businesses who have taken and said, dress up over Halloween, dress up in your favorite scariest outfit, and we'll post them on our website, or we'll post them on our Facebook page. We'll post them somewhere so that people, I get to be on Chick-fil-A's when I dress up as a cow, or a chicken, if you want. So. <laughs> This is a lot of fun, okay? Now, a couple other things, oops, let's get that. A couple other uh, social media sites I wanna tell you about. This is Google Plus. Now, I don't know if any of you recognize who that really is. Uh, you might. Um, she is a council person at uh, Salt Lake County Council, and she's fairly new, but she posts every Tuesday night after the council meeting a post of what's going on. Now, in this particular case, she, all, she was talking about transparencies and spending, but she also was about to change her picture, and so I grabbed her picture and put it up here. Any of you ever heard of Mike Winder? Was in the news a little bit for, uh, you know, some things that he did or didn't do, and, uh, but Mike Winder was the mayor of uh, West Valley City for four years. This is his sister. And yes, they're part of the Winder Dairy family. Okay, so but I chose this also for this picture here. Here is a great way of finding out about social media. Rebecca is somebody that I follow, and I get all kinds of information about how to do better. And this particular article that she did with a couple of other people is very very good. So if you want more information, I'll give you Rebecca's. Uh, Facebook or actually I'll give you her uh, web address and you can go and grab that okay so this this can be uh, you can have as big or as small of a, a um, post as you want and that's one of the cool things about using Google Plus now I got to tell you something that's very important to know when you're using Facebook, and some of the other social media sites do this as well, you have to have people interacting with you or else they're not gonna get every message you post. For example, if I post something on my site, if Chris or Rob has liked one of the last five posts that I've made, they're going to get every single post that I do until I get to number six that they haven't liked. When you get to number six, then they only share one out of every two with you of what I post. When I get to 12 that they haven't said I like this, then only 7% of the people that I am connected to are going to see 7% of the, the rest of the people who are liking me all the time, 7% will get to see my post. That means that you're not getting to everybody who likes you. Did you know that? Most people don't. Google, you get everybody. So if you post something, it's in real time, and it's from the newest post down. So in this particular case, this one, I had scrolled down a ways, and this was a yesterday post, but so was all of this uh, yesterday posts. So you be, understand that you're not getting to everybody, even though you may have lots of likes. 
In fact, if you notice on some of your posts, I was looking at one yesterday and it said, it was posted out and there's 400 people who are in this uh, group that like this website. Then all of a sudden, I'm looking at it and it says I got to 68 people is all that it got to. You know, that's actually pretty high because there were some of them that were 15 that actually saw my post. Okay? Now, on some of those others, you can buy long, uh, to go to everybody that you have as friends. Okay? And then there's some that you, have to, you can buy to go to their friends and family. So you can go to thousands of people there. They have to change the battery in the camera real quick, so I'm going to pause very quickly for them to do so.